To say I thought we would be where we are now, and I had no idea what, what would happen um, when we hit about March 15th, when our president finally acknowledged that this is something serious, right? And on the same day, CDC initiated its guidelines, and we had to change what we were going to do three times in a day. And I, I kind of thought that we would be back in full service by summer at the beginning of this. And at the beginning, thinking that unemployment benefits would last until the end of July. And I was thinking, well, there's no way that we'll, we'll not be back in full swing by the end of July. And now it's like there's no possible way we could. Prior to the pandemic, uh, we had a stable, mature staff. Our business in Q4 and Q1 were the best business that we've had. And when it hit, of course, it was all about the decisions about what you felt safe with. To have to make health decisions beyond are you allergic to anything and food safety for people um, was the most stressful thing that I ever went through. And so having to decide, no, I, we can't do this again and say, no, we're closed. You know, we're not going to stay open until the end of the week. I, I, I really just focused on looking at the information as much as possible, trying to decide what was safe, and making sure, first and, and foremost, with really no equivalent number two, are we doing what's right for our, our staff, our guests, and our community. And everybody has a different comfort level of how they feel about going out. Even day to day, it can change. And I guess that's with having everything evolving here and being able to have you know, some people just want to get to go. They don't want to be in a public space. Some people want full on, full service, and some people might want a modified service, but they can still sit not at their house. I'm glad we're at the point where we as a team feel comfortable that we can execute a service getting back to that. It's slow. So our first step last week, only three tables full service. This week, we'll add, we're adding two more tables of full service alongside of takeout, and we plan on having the entire outside as full service the following week. The state is clearly saying, owners, you figure it out for yourself. I mean, at 75% capacity of being allowed, it, it's, it's on the individual owners as far as what they feel comfortable with. The city, with its ordinance to allow us to sell to go beer and wine, uh, has helped a lot. So cheers to our city for um, understanding the flexibility needed on that. So hopefully it's something we can continue with, you know, uh, I think it's good. It's good for um, our business as long as it's not abused. So because we're going to be in this model for who knows how long. The business is a reflection of the owners and the staff and we all we all want each other to be healthy and the the business included and it doesn't behoove the business if, if we're all sick. I know that us here are very, very grateful for the um, lost nights of sleep. Sorry you had to go through that, but George really, really made sure that, that we were taken care of. Um, and the staff throughout all of the, the transition that was happening. And um, that was a, a factor in me wanting to be more involved um, because you, you really learn a lot about, you know, somebody in a pandemic <laughs> and how they handle things when, um, when they could have gone very, very poorly. And, and they didn't. And now we're just gonna look forward.